My name is Lars and today I will teach you how to horse. If you follow some simple steps it is easy to become a decent horse player. Horse is an eco clan which feels very smooth since you steadily progress as your clan gets stronger. Forging and upgrading buildings feels natural and as a bonus the clan is designed to always forge at least one relic in the game. Team needs scouting? No problem since you have easy access to stone. Team needs feasting? Not a problem, since you can just assign your villagers to gather food for the feast while your board chiefs mine or forge. Overall, the clan just feels great and has been one of the most balanced clans in the game for quite a while, so the risk of it getting changed in a major way is very low. Furthermore, your clan has access to not only one, but two relics, making it a very versatile clan as you can go for different builds depending on your situation but we will come back to that later. Your clan strives because of its forging. World on Fire provides extra fame for every tool you forge. Forging military and relics will give you even more fame and the forging is exclusively done by your war chiefs. Getting the lore World on Fire after forging gets you fame in retrospect. Your war chiefs can mine, build, repair and fight, so they will constantly help your eco throughout the early and mid game. Make sure that your chiefs always have something to do. So keep track of how much mineable stone or iron is still available in your territory. Horse can do very well on its own. You can scout and clear yourself without a clear clan. Watch out though, your war chiefs have been nerfed a little bit since the last patch. If you have to clear yourself, try not to get them wounded too early since that would decrease your war chief productivity by 20%. Contrary to other clans, you can recruit your chiefs in your forge and they cost 150 coins each. Your war chiefs want to stick together when doing tasks as they benefit from the Tain bonus, Craftsman. Altria can build and repair 30% faster. Get her first so she can assist your villagers with the building. Oh no, I forgot to build a house! Well, Altria can drop a house instantly. Brock can forge 30% faster, as Horse wants to get 200 fame as fast as possible, as that boosts both mining and forging speed, it is pleasant to search for middle and feast from time to time. Now that you have a general overview about the clan, let us hop straight into the build order. With Horse we start with a scout camp, a house and a longship dock. Save up on food a little bit, buy two tiles and then build a woodcutter. Afterwards, save up on coins until you have 140 coins and then place your Verlon's Forge to instantly spawn Eitria. Before building a second house, build a second woodcutter. Then build a house, followed by a food building and a second food building. If you have the place for a silo, build a silo as well. Then we build a second longship dock. And in case you don't have two coasts, of course, you build a trading post. If you either want to rush defend a rush or if the map is small, build war camps. Otherwise, you want to build an altar with horse. Before building an altar, it is pleasant to upgrade your longship dock and your food building first. And if you need to scout, upgrade your scouts as well. After this, upgrade a second longship dock and this will be your core for the entire game. The only thing you're missing is a heater's hut, more war and training camps and maybe a third longship dock. Now that you know all about the build order and the upgrades, let us talk about the lore order. The four most important lores are Excavation, Well on Fire, Quality of Life and of course Ancestral Influence. Excavation is our main income of lore, Well on Fire is our main income of fame and Quality of Life secures the happiness of our entire population. Pay attention to always have one upgraded civilian building in each tile. Houses don't count. Finally, with Ancestral Influence, we have the ability to forge two relics in one game. Once you hit 500 fame, your relics will boost your economy, so pay attention where you place it. First of all, we go Excavation into Sharp Axes into Well on Fire. We go Shipbuilding into Quality of Life to secure our happiness. Both Negotiation and Weaponsmith are very situational. If you feel like you will lack resources like food and stone and build a marketplace, then you take negotiation. If you feel like you need military power because you will rush or an opponent wants to rush, then you pick weaponsmith. Otherwise you completely skip negotiation and go for weaponsmith much later, after ancestral influence. As you now know about the law order, let us talk about the forging order. Depending on how many coastiles you have, you either forge sailors or merchants. Forging sailors is worth it once you have at least two coast tiles. Then you forge woodcutters. If you want to rush, 
Skip forging the woodcutters and go straight into forging warriors instead. Otherwise, go full greed and forge your horse relic instead. After hitting ancestral influence, forge Jörmun, warriors and shield bearers. Finally, go leadership as your military path. This was the classic horse build and it works really really well. If you want to try out another alternative build, I present to you the jar build. With this build, you mine stone first and then you go complete greed into a really really late game heavy build. The one thing you will have to watch out for is staying above 10 happiness to secure a better productivity of your clan. Finally, you can buy all the resources you need in the marketplaces, enabling you to upgrade and forge everything you want to. But watch out, you will be very vulnerable in the early and mid game. To sum things up, mine iron first and forge to reach 200 fame. Do not shy away from building an altar and forging a horse relic in 801 or 802. Your clan is designed to scale and it would be a shame if you would not play greedy. Finally, make space for camps and aim for a 12 unit convert. As always, thank you so much for watching and if you like what I'm doing, feel free to leave a like and maybe subscribe to my channel. Have fun trying out this horse playstyle and as always, take care.